In this video, we're going to look at importing a land XML file. Starting with TPC Desktop 2015, Traverse BC supports land XML both importing and exporting. I'm going to open the sample folder and open a survey called Learn Land XML. This survey is actually blank, it doesn't have any data in it. That way we can see just the land XML data that gets imported. Once the uh, survey is open, let's choose File, Import. This is where we have access to most of the import options within Traverse PC. And from the list of filters or formats that we support, I choose Land XML. I'm going to skip the settings right now for this video. And let's choose Browse and find the XML file that we want to import. Here's one called Subdivision. It's one of the AutoCAD sample files available on the landxml.org website. I'm going to double click it and choose import. Traverse PC uh, tells me that it's reading the XML file, it's reading the units, and then it tells me I need to select items to import. So it's opened up this dialog for me and I see all of the data in the land XML file. Let's uh, zoom in here real quick and I see that I've got 639 points so I can expand those, and Traverse BC gives me the label and the coordinates for each one. I've got 83 parcels. If I expand that, I get the lot number or the name of that parcel and the area of each. I've got six alignments, and I've got two surfaces. So I see that right off the bat, I can bring in individual uh, data items if I want. If I'm just interested in importing the surface, I can check just that surface. And when I choose OK, that's the data that will be brought in. If I want to bring in all the surfaces, I just click the root for surfaces, and Traverse BC will bring in all the surfaces. Same way for all the alignments. So I can click that. If I just click on the root land XML, I'm going to bring in everything in that file. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's choose OK. Traverse PC is reading the points now. It's reading the parcels, the alignments, and the surfaces. So here it tells me that it's brought in all that data. When I close this out, I see that one of the settings I had turned on was to show import details. Let's go all the way to the top here. Here's the file that I imported, the subdivision XML. Here are the units it read. And then here's a subsection for points. So I see that here's point one, it had an attribute or a point code of PCOR, and here are the coordinates, and here's the next point. So here's the, the data that I read out of that XML file. Some XML files are richer than others, and they include additional data, and you're gonna see some of that here in the details. Now once I got down past the points, here's the section on the parcels. So here's lot one, it has six points, in an area of 41,278.3 square units. I'm going to drop down a little farther, and here is, are my alignments, 1st Avenue, 2nd Avenue. Notice that um, Traverse BC brings in the number of points and the lengths, but I also see this included a vertical alignment called FG Center, and it had four vertical curves in it. So Traverse BC is reading the vertical curve information along with the alignment information. And then finally, I see that I read two surfaces. And again, I see the name of the surface, some additional information about it. And I'm just going to close out that message view. What I want to show you in this video, in kind of a uh, very broad sense, is what Traverse PC did with this data it brought in. Um, I want you to see that the XML alignments came into a Traverse group called alignments. And I can simply toggle those on. And here are all the alignments in that project. Here are all the parcels. So I'm going to set the tag for one of those parcels, and they all turn on. I'm going to right-click one of these and go to Traverse Settings. And I'm going to set the settings for all 83 parcels. Just look at each split here. So let's turn on the name. Let's turn on the square feet for each one of those. And let's choose OK. So now here are all my land XML parcels named, the areas, the points, the shared lot lines and the alignments in here. And then finally, if I want, here are my surfaces. And I can simply tell Traverse PC that I want to 
turn one of these surfaces on. And Traverse BC initially for surfaces just displays the major contours. I can certainly come in and tell it that I want to see the minor contours as well. And that would be just fine. And remember, I had two surfaces in here, so I just turned on one of them. In additional videos, we'll take a look at um, each of these uh, sort of data types within uh, XML. We'll talk about the CG points and how Traverse PC brings those into the point manager. We'll talk about the traverses and the different types of traverses that we, we import. We'll talk about the surfaces, parcels, and alignments.